Good afternoon, everyone. We're outside enjoying uh, Mother Nature, beautiful green grass. The sky's a little gray, but the sun's peeking through. You can find it if you look for it. Just went longboarding a little, or penny skateboarding down to the uh, gas station. Got myself this energy drink. Um, I've never heard of it or had one of these before, but it has. B vitamins, a little niacin, which is a B vitamin, um, and then it has all this interesting stuff. It has uh, branched chain amino acids for muscles, um, it has electrolytes, it has 300 milligrams of clean caffeine, caffeine from, uh, it has coenzyme Q10. It has guarana caffeine, um, and it has natural green coffee bean caffeine. Um, it has CoQ10, which I normally just take in a supplement, but since I haven't been supplementing since I escaped from jail, um, or so-called jail, prison, where I spent the last ten months, nine months, um, I haven't been taking it because I don't. I haven't picked any up, so I figured I'd take this one. And it has yerba mate extract. Um, so this is an interesting energy drink. I've never tried one like this that also nourishes your your muscles too um, for muscle recovery. So, and I've never tried ginseng root extract or uh, yerba mate. Yerba mate extract. Uh, I've never tried either of those, but I feel pretty good. I drank it. Feels pretty good. It's a lot of caffeine. Um, I usually need an energy drink each day just to, uh, you know, bring me fully into the present, give me some awareness, um, some alertness, some concentration. So. I love energy drinks. I'll drink one a day. I don't care if they say they're not healthy for you. Anyways, enough about energy drinks. This is not what my post is about. Um, so this post is about the cure bum, 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 to anxiety. Can you imagine that? Do you know what anxiety is? Anxiety, the definition of anxiety is basically the psychological psychology definition for anxiety as far as I rem remember from school at least I haven't looked it up today is um, it's basically something that you anticipate happening in the future that's negative um, that's generally an irrational um, fear so it's something that you're scared will happen in the future that probably actually in real reality in all seriousness will not happen to you um, it's different from fear and that fear is something that's a direct threat you're, you're scared of something that's a direct threat to your health to your well-being your survival <coughs> anxiety is anticipatory fear of future discomfort as opposed to something that's um, directly threatening you in the moment so um, one thing that I wrote down I wanted to get across to you guys that I read in a book um, lately recently is called the idea that um, and I think this is really important there are people on this planet uh, planet earth um, obviously who <laughs> There are people on this earth who live a life entirely devoid of fear. There are people who are actually fearless. And I'm not talking about people who are autistic, who have malfunctioning amygdalas, which is like the fear center of the brain. And this is fears that are even, even fears that are rational too. They don't have fear. And it's not because there's something wrong with their brain. Um, these people learned what fear is. 
and they conquered and mastered fear. And in this day and age, there's not that much to fear. I mean, we have coronavirus. Um, however, we have food, we have shelter, we have heating, we have all the modern luxuries. There's really not that much to fear, first of all. And second of all, people who have mastery over themselves um, have conquered their fears. And that's something that's entirely feasible for you to attain as well. And I don't want, I want you to realize that even for something that's entirely rational, like being scared of getting shot, um, or just, you know, arachnophobia, fear of spiders, these are things, there are people out there who don't have any phobias. They don't live in fear for a single moment of their day. So if you can go a whole day and then string together days to weeks without any fear, you can also, of course, find people on this planet who are entirely free of anxiety. And you might say, well, I don't have generalized anxiety disorder, like, um, I'm not taking pills for anxiety, but... We all get nervous sometimes, we all, or not everyone, is what I'm telling you right now, but uh, anyways, what's important to recognize about anxiety and how to overcome it is that it's an anticipatory, anticipatory fear or emotion of future discomfort. Um, so anticipatory future, there's something that's adding up right here, and it's that with anxiety, you're, you're entirely thinking about something that may or may not happen in the future, and that's part of the reason it's irrational. Um, and what this means is when you're thinking about the future or the past, however anxiety lives in the future, you're not living grounded in the present moment. Eckhart Tolle writes Eckhart Tolle writes a book called The Power of Now, and it, the entire book is about living in the present moment. And if you can live in the present moment, then basically there's past, present, and future. You can live in the past, thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, dwelling over the past, ruminating over the past. You can live in the present moment or you can live in the future. The only real thing that exists in reality is the now. This is what they talk about in Buddhism. Um, and the past and the future are just illusions according to uh, some of these spiritual leaders and masters. So, This is where we can conquer anxiety very easily. It's, and it, it's not that easy, but it's possible. Read The Power of Now. It teaches you how to live in the present moment and then practice it and apply it. Applied knowledge is wisdom and it works. Another thing that's irrational about anxiety is that it's an anticipatory fear of future discomfort and the word discomfort is um, actually something that spiritual spiritual beings spiritual masters um, people who are trying to grow spiritually who are trying to grow as people as humans um, this is actually something that these teachers say we should cherish something that we should seek out seek out this discomfort because discomfort is the singular path to transcendence so when I say transcendence I mean um, spiritual growth moving forward um, taking out past traumas taking out past energy blocks these energy blocks um, occur they're called samskaras in uh, the Hindu tradition, S-A-M-S-K-A-R-A's, 
these actually block your chakras most importantly the heart chakra when you push it away however if you experience a discomfort it's because something in the past it reminds you of something in the past that had a negative outcome um, so today you're reminded of when your girlfriend broke up with you it's causing you some discomfort some pain what you want to do is recognize this is an opportunity this is an opportunity for me to get over my girlfriend who broke up with me this is an opportunity for me to remove that thorn in me and the way you do that the way you do that is uh, by experiencing the discomfort sitting with the discomfort and then letting the discomfort pass in front of you um, and below you so what I like to do is I, I like to imagine a waterfall that's going from over my head, a stream that's going over my head, there's a cliff directly above me, and the water's falling straight in front of my face. And I, I visualize the distressing, discomforting object in my life, such as my girlfriend breaking up with me. I put it in a bubble and I watch it with my eyes closed, my eyes open pass in front of me, down, and below me. And this is, this will allow it, you to let go. It's called letting go. It's a meditation. And, uh, and this process of taking advantage of experiencing discomfort would, as they come up, you don't have to seek them out, but as they come up, recognize, hey, this is an opportunity to transcendence, literally. This is an opportunity to grow myself. This is an opportunity to free myself of past chains. And um, sit with the discomfort for a second and then watch it as it passes in front of you with a Teflon mind. Don't let it stick to you. Don't get stuck on it. Emotions will pass within 30 seconds to a minute. And uh, if you, as long as you don't push it away, this actually clears energy blocks in your body. It takes away thorns that prevent you from getting close to that next person, the next person you want a relationship with. It, it removes those thorns that let you get close to your family. But ultimately the thing to recognize is that anxiety is a fear, an anticipatory fear of the future. So the first thing, you, the only thing you really have to do is stay present and you won't experience anxiety. However, if you are, do find yourself um, experiencing discomfort in the future, you can recognize that, hey, this is actually the best thing that could be happening to me. This is an opportunity for me to grow. If I take it in stride, it'll be over with in 30 seconds to a minute and I'll never have to experience this discomfort again in my future. And it will it'll facilitate better relationships. Um, it'll relieve traumas of the past. You see it as an opportunity when you get discomfort. There's nothing to fear or worry about. There's no reason to have an anticipatory fear of future discomfort if, in fact, future discomfort is something that we should look forward to you as an opportunity to grow, to transcend, because this is the only way, the singular path to transcendence as the spiritual masters and teachers tell us, teach to us. And it's true. So I've been through experiences in my past that I would consider terrible traumas. But through this meditation, through sitting with it, through letting it pass, through letting go and not clinging on to it, not ruminating over it. And it's easy to say I'm not gonna ruminate over it. <clears throat> it's 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 uh it's more about letting go than refusing to cling on to it. And um, if you can do this you will recognize that anytime you get heated, anytime you feel a little bit um, you know just uncomfortable, like cold, and it reminds you of that time where you were out on the street homeless, etc., um, etc. Et 
you're going to recognize that if you can allow this experience in the moment right now to pass, it's going to free you from your past traumas, your past negative experiences, your past discomforts that you haven't let go of yet, that you don't even realize are still bugging you, but they're bugging you and they're there and they're blocking your energy in uh, the subconscious level. And these energy blocks are called samskaras. Instead, we want to be opening chakras, removing samskaras. Um, and in this way, we'll have more energy and be more open. So, a brief summary anxiety. If you're experiencing anxiety, you should recognize right away I'm living in the future. I'm not living in the present. If I was living in the present, then I would not be experiencing anxiety. And two, if you're scared of future discomfort, recognize, hey, first of all, there's people who aren't scared of anything at all. Um, and two, two, that's attainable for you. And three, that discomfort you, you fear in the future is actually your greatest opportunity for growth as a person. So that you can you can have better relationships with others, um, and this will allow us to come together as a family of humans here on Earth. If we can all learn this process of letting go, experiencing discomfort, opening our chakras, and if you happen to be someone who's ex who's suffering from generalized anxiety disorder. You, you probably don't like having to take pills for it every day. I've taken benzodiazepines for anxiety before, and uh, you know those things can be addicting. I've had, like I said in a past video, I've had teachers uh, tell me that benzodiazepines can have epigenetic effects. It can literally change your DNA, and this change in DNA can be passed on to your offspring and cause them to be clonopin heads, benzo addicts, as soon as they're born. And if that's true, that's just not right. And if we don't need it, if we don't, if there are people living their lives entirely devoid of fear itself, and this is an attainable goal for all of us, then we sure as hell can uh, live our lives free of anxiety. And, uh, you know, anxiety leads to a lot of problems. So follow these quick concepts and thoughts and steps and that, that little meditation of letting go. And you're going to find this is, if you, if you do this with every discomfort as it arises throughout your day, for the next few weeks, you're going to feel more energized, you're going to feel like on top of the world, so give it a try, know that it's possible, apply your knowledge that you've learned here and turn it into wisdom and go for it, uh, free yourself from anxiety and For all I care, free yourself of fear, because fear is one of the fundamental or underlying emotions that causes any and all suffering um, in humans. It's it's basically the the primary underlying negative emotion that leads to all other negative emotions. So if we can conquer fear. We'll be some pretty happy, healthy humans emotionally so that's all I have to say about anxiety and if you have comprehended and applied some of the knowledge that I've tried to impart on you today whether you're taking pills for anxiety or not I wish you all to be free of anxiety and I hope it works for you like it did for me and just the knowledge itself that anxiety, fear, these are things we can live without.
for our entire lives. If we wish for this to happen, there's a will, there's a way. Put your head down, conquer that shit. Alright guys. Peace out. Enjoy a beautiful day. Um, it's not as warm or sunny out, but... What I've learned to recognize about cloudy days is that it seems cloudy, but if you look up at the sun, you can still see it peeking around the clouds. Um, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but the sun is still there. Clouds don't block all the sunlight, or else it would be dark, entirely dark. And uh, it's the same reason why you can get sunburn on a cloudy day. It's still there. You just have to look for it. Stay happy, stay healthy. Peace out. Later, guys.